David Urban argues that the only death directly tied to the events of January 6 was that of Ashley Babbitt, a protester shot by police as she attempted to breach the Capitol. He specifically counters Karen Finney's broader assertion that multiple deaths resulted from the insurrection, honing in on Babbitt's death, which has become a focal point for many on the right. This perspective implies a narrative where multiple deaths are often cited but not directly linked to the day's events. Why wasn't, that, radical transparency? But then why wasn't that proposed four years ago after the last election? Why didn't Republicans, hold on, come forward and say, you know what, we are now for radical transparency for elections. We are now for making it as easy as possible for every American to vote rather than making it harder for certain people to vote. Instead, what you've had is four years of a former president trashing the system. And, and by the way, to what the judge said, there are dangerous consequences to the president's lies. People died on January 6th. People well, have, the only person that died on January 6th was Ashley Babbitt, who was murdered. Well, there, That's the only person that died, Karen. Let's be straight, on January 6th. There were, okay. But there were but, 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 no, but, oh, sure. Sure. That, that, I'm not trying to minimize it. I'm not trying to minimize it. Jim, Jim, let's not do Jim, that one. Jim, Jim, let's not do that one. It's terrible, right? None of that, David, David, none of that would have happened. Yeah. Donald Trump had just been a man and accepted the election results in 2020. No, I'm not so sure. just man up. J Jim, no, not that's, it, that's it. That's that's the whole ballgame. No, Jim, listen, when you're, you just, when you're, when you're, that's, that's it. Do you, do you hold, do you hold, do you, do you accept personal responsibility as the key in life? Do you, when you were a kid, when your mom said, when you were out with your friends and you did something, you said, well, Billy made me do it, mom. What would your mother said to you, Jim? She would have said, I don't care what Billy did. You're responsible for you, Jim. You yeah. know better. Your mom yeah. taught you better. Americans right. know the personal responsibility. The people that broke into the Capitol. You should be saying to Donald Trump. People that broke into the Capitol, they're responsible for that activity. Not Donald okay. Trump. Okay. Not my dog made okay. me do it. Yelling. We don't have to yell. We don't have to yell. We can keep <laughs> it down. We can keep While Urban acknowledges the violence and tragedy of January 6th, he critiques the way the media and political opponents frame it. By calling Ashley Babbitt's death a murder, he echoes sentiments among Trump supporters that she was a martyr, unfairly killed. This shifts the narrative from the mob's actions to what he views as an overreach by law enforcement. On the other side, Karen Finney pushes back, noting that law enforcement officers were also victims, many suffering injuries and trauma in the aftermath. She emphasizes the need to acknowledge the ongoing impact on officers, aiming to underscore the broader gravity of the attack on democracy. Urban's argument also diverts focus from Donald Trump, placing accountability squarely on the individuals who stormed the Capitol. He distances the former president from responsibility, maintaining that those who participated in the violence should be held accountable for their own actions, not Trump himself. 